Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolo. As you can see, we are back to the super chill unboxing setup and today we've got a big product over here. So this is the Redmi Book e-learning edition, Redmi's very first laptop series over here in India. Now we are going to go ahead and unbox this laptop and let's see what it's made of. Now this is the base variant which comes with the Core i3 processor and a 256GB SSD. So I'm very excited to test it out and let's see what happens. Alright, I've got my cutter over here, so cutter OP in the chat guys, cutter OP. Alright, first up we have some paperwork over here, which is always boring, I'm just gonna keep it aside. Next up we have this package over here, this little package and I think this has the charger inside it. So let me quickly, you know, remove that. Yes, I was right. Now this is a 65 watt charger which is supposed to fast charge your laptop and it does not come with a USB Type-C port. It comes with a proprietary pin and that is kind of disappointing because we are living in 2021 and everything should be USB Type-C. But yeah, that's not the case. Anyway, let's keep that aside and let's get back to the laptop itself. Right, it is now time to remove the plastic. Here we go. Nice. This looks very good. So this is the Redmi Book e-learning edition. Now this is a 15.6 inches laptop. It's bigger than Xiaomi's previous laptop which was the Mi Notebook 14. I do appreciate that because a lot of people requested Xiaomi to launch a big laptop and well here we go. Alright time to open up this laptop for the very first time. not switching on I guess I have to connect the charger for the very first time because that was the case with the Mi Notebook 14 as well so let me connect the charger let's try this again shall we and yes I was right all right while the laptop switches on let me quickly tell you about the specifications that this laptop comes with so this is the base variant of Redmi Book e-learning edition it comes with the 11th generation core i3 processor the exact model number is 1115 g4 it also has 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of SSD. Now the RAM is DDR4 and the SSD is a normal SSD. It's not an NVMe SSD. Only the 512 GB SSD models come with an NVMe SSD but the normal 256 GB one is a normal SSD. So please keep that in mind, that is very important. As far as the display goes, it has a 15.6 inches full HD IPS LCD panel. Now I will test out the display and will talk more about it in this video itself. Now the target audience for this laptop is students and people who are working from home who do not need a lot of power from their laptop. So people who are looking for a basic laptop that just works, for them this laptop is a pretty solid option. Now I'm going to go ahead and use it for a couple of days and then I'll get back to you. Alright, welcome back. So I've been using the Redmi Book 15 e-learning edition for a couple of days and I have gathered my thoughts. First up, let's go ahead and talk about the keyboard and trackpad. The keyboard on this laptop is excellent. There's a good amount of travel, the keys are clicky and the typing experience is very good. One downside over here is that the keyboard is not backlit, like there's no backlighting whatsoever and that is a con because most of the laptops out there in the similar price range do offer a backlit keyboard. A backlit keyboard would have been much better. Now as far as the trackpad goes, well it's a very big trackpad. As compared to other laptops out there, it is way bigger and that is a good thing. When it comes to the tracking itself, the tracking is good and smooth. Even the finger gestures work. So two finger gestures, three finger gestures, everything works perfectly. No complaints over there. All in all, I am happy with the keyboard and trackpad. Just one small thing that the keyboard should have been backlit. Now next up, let's talk about the port situation. So you get three full-size USB ports. One is a USB 2.0 port and two are USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports. You also get an HDMI 1.4 port, one RJ45 Ethernet port, a headphone jack which also doubles as a microphone port and finally a Kensington lock. Now there is no USB Type-C port over here which is kind of sad because USB Type-C should have been there. USB Type-C is the future and that should have been there. For charging, as I said, there is a proprietary port and it will fast charge your laptop. So you will get a 65 watt fast charger inside the box itself which will fast charge your laptop. Now while we are on the subject of charging, what about battery life? The battery life of this laptop has been surprisingly good. So for all the basic work out there, the battery life is actually very good. I am not disappointed with the battery life at all. 
Now this gets me to one of my biggest complaints with this laptop and that is the display. It comes with a 15.6 inches full HD display, it's an IPS LCD panel but the viewing angles are just straight up bad, they are not good at all. Like when you are looking directly at the laptop, the display does seem good but even the slightest shift will make the experience bad. The viewing angles are not good and they should have been better. So if you are looking at the display off axis, then you will instantly notice the difference in quality and that is not a good sign. So yes, I would say the display quality is just okay-ish and not the best out there. As far as the color accuracy goes, the display does show accurate colors, which is a good thing. Next up, let's talk about the main thing that is performance. Now this is the e-learning edition, the baseline variant, which comes with the 11th generation core i3 processor. The exact model number is 1115G4. Now this is a dual core processor which comes with 4 threads, a base clock of 3GHz and a max clock of 4.1GHz. It's a very basic processor and is aimed for people who do normal things on their laptop. For example, Microsoft Office applications like Word, PowerPoint, Excel or cloud-based applications like Zoho, Google Meet, Google Drive, all those things. Or even if you use software like Tally for accounting, then for all these things, this laptop is going to be a good fit. But if you do some heavy stuff like video editing, video rendering or interior design work on AutoCAD, SketchUp, Lumia and all those things, then this laptop is not for you. It's a normal basic laptop for basic work. Now during this testing period, I did not play any games on this laptop, but I am planning to incorporate games in my full review. That's why stay tuned on the channel, the full review of this laptop will come very soon. As far as the RAM goes, it comes with 8GB of RAM which is more than sufficient for this laptop. As I said, you are not going to be able to do heavy tasks on this laptop, so for normal stuff, 8GB RAM is more than enough. Although I think that Chrome will easily eat it up, but that's the problem of Chrome and not the laptop. Now the RAM is not expandable, so 8GB is what you get, you cannot expand the RAM whatsoever and please make a note of that. On the storage side of things, you get a 256GB SSD. Now this is a normal SSD, not an NVMe SSD. Now here's the thing, if you go with the 512GB variant, then you will get an NVMe SSD. So if you can spend that extra cash, then definitely get the 512GB variant because the SSD on that is much faster. Now one thing that is very good with this laptop is the build quality and design. Design wise, it is a very minimal laptop, nothing flashy, very industrial looking and minimal laptop, which I do appreciate. And as far as the build quality goes, it is built really well. It comes with a metallic finish, it's not real metal but it has a metallic finish and that adds a very good touch to the design. I am impressed with the design and build quality of the Redmi Book 15. This gets me to the price. The official price of this laptop is 42,000 rupees but during the sale period and with offers you will get it for around 40,000 rupees. So for 40,000 rupees, I'm going to say this is a very good laptop, but this is not typical Redmi pricing. Redmi is used to disrupt the market with crazy pricing and that is not happening over here. The pricing is similar to the competition. It is definitely not lesser. It is a good product and you can definitely consider it. I will make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below. So anyway, this was my unboxing and initial impressions of the Redmi Book 15. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.